almost 7 30. Here we go. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our online Norwex party of live demos. Um, I have some samples to give away for everybody if you'd like some. Um, and then also a drawing giveaway um, that I will do after the live uh, demo is over. So I'll just wait a couple minutes here. Um, I'm going to check. I have my computer set up over here as well to make sure I'm live on both the group and the event page. Let me make sure everybody's able to see me at both spots. Hi, everybody. Welcome. I'm just double checking to make sure on my laptop that everybody can see me on the group page and then also in the events as well. Okay, cool. All right, perfect. That looks great. Well, thanks everybody for joining. Um, I have my little helper here who's going to, my daughter Maddie, she's going to help out with a couple of um, things that we have planned for tonight. So she's going to sit and patiently wait until I ask her for her help which might be a little hard for her, so you'll have to excuse us with that, but she loves the Norwex products so much. Um, she's been so excited to tell all of our friends and family about it. She's definitely our little spokesperson. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I have a few different demos planned today. Um, I am kind of hoping that I didn't forget something because I'm looking at all the stuff going on, um, but I'm really, really excited to share it with everybody. So I hope you grab something to drink, um, have your feet up, and I hope you're gonna enjoy what's going on today. So what we're gonna do for the first um, demo right now is I am going to take a stick of butter, and I'm sure if you're very familiar with Norwex, maybe you've actually seen this done before, um, and I'm gonna spread the butter all over um, our lovely dirty mirror that I have over here. Madison's gonna hold on to those for me, and I have my list of stuff that I need to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab this mirror, okay? You see how nice and dirty it is. Ick. Gross. I'm going to take this lovely butter that my husband bought. Um, he didn't know that I had Norwex butter in the fridge, and I think he used it for his breakfast. Um, unfortunately, that uh, maybe next time I'll label it Norwex butter that's been rubbed on most of the mirrors in the house to show some demos. Um, so we'll use his really expensive butter today. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead, and this butter has been melted. Oh, wow, it's really melted. <laughs> it is really melted. I'm actually gonna go ahead and rub it because it's getting caked down pretty thick here in some spots. All right. All right, perfect. So can you see how thick that is on there, guys? Usually I'm a little bit closer to uh, the camera, but with having all my stuff set up already, um, I am kind of behind the, behind the table and I'm hoping that everybody can see everything. Okay, so what I'm gonna have Madison do is I'm gonna have her go ahead and take me off a couple of paper towels there. Oh. And I'm gonna, how many? Um, oh, just let's go with a couple. Let's go with like two or three, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna spray it with our lovely Windex window cleaner, okay? Go ahead and spray it good. Oh, close your eyes. Spray, spray, spray. All right, let me have that please. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I might actually use a few because it got kind of caked into it. So you can kind of see how it's just kind of spreading the butter around and to be fair, I did kind of put it on a little thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that the benefit of the doubt because of how quickly the, the butter did melt in the house. So I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna spray it down one more time, okay? Spray, spray, spray the Windex spray. I'm gonna go ahead, grab some of these paper towels again. And I'm going to go ahead Look at all, let's see, now it's kind of starting to come off. There we go. But look at all of that residue that's getting left on there. All those nice, lovely, oily streaks. Okay, guys? Look at that. Still there, still oily. You can see that I'm kind of 
Oh, that light's in the way. There we go. You can see how it's still just all oil. See that, guys? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the butter. I'm going to spread it back on again. Okay. I'm going to give it a fighting chance here. I'm going to douse it on again, just like I did before. Okay. I'm going to spread it all. Lovey dovey. There we go. Good waste of butter. But it does prove how amazing Norwex really works. All right. So now I'm going to grab the Enviro cloth, guys. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get it nice and wet. Actually, I'm going to use my water over here. I'm going to get it nice and wet right back here. I'm going to wring it out. There you go. And I'm going to make sure that I have it folded just like this in half. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and fold it one more time. Okay. This is to help pick up um, all of the products off of the mirrors. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to grab it up. There we go. Perfect. You can see all that butter that's coming off. Madison, can you grab your cat, please, off the table? He's trying to eat the butter. Oh, yes, sir. Go on, kitty. Okay, so I'm going to go back. And I'm going to pull it all the way up again. All the way through. And you can actually see how well it's working already. There we go. You see how much that took off and you can see all the butter that's still on my towel. So I'm going to go one more time since we did cake, <laughs> cake on the butter to prove a point. I'm going to go ahead and flip it again. Nice and easy here guys. And I'm going to go, there we go. Perfect. Look at how awesome that took off. The butter. Okay, so now that we can see that it's still a little wet, I'm going to take our awesome window cloths that we have here from Norwax and I'm going to go ahead, fold it back up into that nice, fold it into the floor again, and we're just going to go ahead and polish it right up. I'm going to get off that excess water. And remember, this is just water, guys. This is no Windex, no chemicals, which I know a lot of you are already familiar with Norwax and how awesome it is for our household and our family and our lovely world that we're living in. And just like that, guys, look how nice. Now you can see my camera. Look how nice and clean that is. No, no oily residue, no nothing, guys. So that was the Enviro cloth and then the window cloth, okay? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this aside right over here. Perfect. I'm going to ask my daughter to come and take all this waste. Look at all my waste. I don't know how many... Uh, paper towels I had to do had to use to get some of that off so I'm actually gonna so she doesn't stick her hands all in the butter and I'm all over the Windex I'm gonna kind of knot that up okay all right can you um take the butter too please honey uh, do you want me to throw that in butter? no just put the butter in the fridge but we'll just have to let dad know that he can't have that all right so the second thing that I have to show you guys is one of my favorite products and it is the Norwax cleansing paste. Um, this one is by far um, my most favorite product that Nor Norwax has to offer right now. It's only sold in the uh, safe haven packages. Um, so I'm gonna probably put up a discount um, for you guys to be able to get that if you like, just because that's how much I believe um, in the cleansing paste and how much, 
how much use you can get out of it. I'll post some other demos um, of different things that I have done with the cleaning paste. So what I'm gonna do ahead and do is I'm gonna rinse out that butter filled Enviro cloth, but I'm gonna have my daughter take this Sharpie, okay? And I'm gonna have her fill in this tile completely black, okay? So I'm gonna have her do that for mom while I take care of that Enviro cloth. And she's gonna just color up her lovely fingerprints that she put on there. go ahead and I'm going to open up my cleansing paste okay I'm gonna fold it up so you guys can see still fold it the right way I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna rub some in here I want to get keep the towel nice and moist though um, just because that's really gonna help take out the sharpie here guys okay so we are, do have a living room fan on so this is getting cleaned off or dried off pretty quickly, okay? So here's the paste here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna start rubbing nice and easily, nice and soft. And she's got it all over. There we go. I'm not even pushing down hard, guys. Super easy. There we go. All right. This is one of my favorite products. You can do headlights with these. You can use these in your kitchen. You can use them in your bathroom. Any, anything that you need clean, this stuff will take out pretty much. Um, the last demo I did with this, see it's all clean. Nice and clean, yay. The last demo that we did um, live, Maddie accidentally got some on our uh, kitchen um, table and it took the Sharpie right off of the table as well. So there's a lot that can be done with the Enviro cloth and also the cleaning paste. Oh, she did get some on there. And I'm just gonna rub it and it's gonna come right, oh, right off, yep, perfect. Came right off. Good, good, good. All right, can you put that in the water for mom, please? Yeah. Thank you. All right, so that's the end, or the Norwex cleaning paste. Which is the best. Which is the best. We call this elbow grease in a jar. Can you set that over on the side too, please? Yeah. I have my, my lovely little checklist here so I can stay on track of everything that I wanted to talk to you guys all about today. Um, again, thanks for joining. Um, mm -hmm. I'm really excited. I do have um, a fun little demonstration in just a second that I'm going to get to. Um, but the next thing I wanted to do, I'm going to move this out of the way mm -hmm. and my raw chicken out of the way guys okay so the next one I wanted to talk about was the laundry detergent that we have here from Norwex um, I do have some free samples of these to give out so if you guys want some let me know um, I can send some to you this is the ultra power plus uh, laundry detergent and what really sold me was when I had bought this um, I went downstairs and I wanted to compare the type of laundry detergent that we were using because our daughter had very sensitive skin and her skin was breaking out and you know everybody said oh just go with the the fragrance free the odor free all that good amazing stuff right all was all all was good with all I guess um, but it was funny because and when I received this, I started investigating and looking on the back of the ingredients and the directions. And um, what really got me was this part here on the back, and it says hand washing. So for hand washing use, you can use this to wash your hands, okay? 
So it says for hand washing use, dissolve two scoops of the Ultra Power Plus in lukewarm water and wash with an or wash with lukewarm water so you can wash it all together and then rinse well before drying, okay? I don't see, let's see here. Oh, the caution on here is be careful, don't get it into your eyes, which, yeah, don't, don't put this in your eyes, guys. So I kind of went over and I looked at all of the different things that were going on with all, and there's huge warnings, warning sign, warning sign, okay? So I was like, huh, warning, what are we, what are we putting on our body? Our skin is our biggest organ in our whole body. I have a sports science um, background. Um, I do massage therapy and personal training and I'm almost graduated with my bachelor's. Um, so I'm really, really, really big into the anatomy, really big into the human body um, and just realizing everything that we're putting onto our body, onto our skin, like I said, it's the biggest organ that sucks everything in. Um, so after I started reading the warnings on here, so let me get to let me get to the, my point. So obviously it says keep packs out of reach of the children, which we all know because sometimes children think this is candy. Um, it says keep container fully closed, never leave any packs out of containers. Um, don't let the kids touch it. Yes, we know that. And then it says down here it says avoid breaking packs. Okay, so it says do not handle packs with wet or moist hands. I totally did that, okay? So I was like, oh, my hands are a little damp, whatever, I'm just gonna take one, put it in, be done with it. Okay, the next one says, do not expose pass packs to moisture, which I did. And then the last one says, do not cut or puncture packs. If the packs, are, if the packs stick together, do not try to separate them. I was like, well, that's kind of interesting. So I was like, hmm. So then I did a little bit more digging. And then it's saying on here the make sure that if the packs open up, you wash your hands immediately if you get it on your hands. And I was like, well, why can't we get this on our hands if we're putting it in our clothes, right? Right? We should make sure that what we're putting on our clothes, we should be able to wash with our hands. And this is it. This has sold me. I have two more big packs. Um, that I started stocking up on. We've started going through uh, less laundry detergent because um, we use, have to use less of this stuff. Um, but I'm gonna get off my soapbox, no pun intended, and I'm gonna show you how awesome this stuff works. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Where did my little bowl go? I'm gonna what? leave that one there. Which so one? I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go here. Can you fill that up with water for mom, please? Water on pot. It doesn't matter. I mean, just some cold water would be great. Okay. Really quick, like? Okay. Really, 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 really quick, please. Thank you. So this is red wine right here, believe it or not. Um, it is a lot easier for me to handle. Um, I didn't have an extra eyedropper. And yeah, I could have just poured it right out of the bottle if I wanted to. Um, but I figure I'd have better control with um, the red wine in here. So this here is my new PP. Okay, I'm gonna shake it up so you guys can actually see. There you go. Okay, there's suds in there. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some red wine all onto my cloth, okay? You see that? And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna spray it all over that cloth. You can see it turning brown. No, oh, see if it's gonna work. See it turning brown, we're gonna rub it all together, nice and easy, and just like magic. I'll rinse it out, and that was just water, whatever, she gave me like lukewarm water, okay? And just like that, no magic, just the power of Norwax, guys. Red wine has nothing on Norwax, guys. This is great. That means you can go ahead and drink your red wine and not worry about it. I'm gonna kind of tip, actually, I'm gonna come over to the to the phone. I wanna kind of tip this so you guys can kind of see. If you can see that that's proof that's, that's dirty. Can you see that? I hope so. I hope you can see in the bowl. There we go, I'm gonna get that back. 
And I'm going to go ahead and Madison take care of that and dump that out for mom, please. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, again, think about what you're putting on your skin through your clothes. Okay, guys? Um, I, was, I was really in shock when I read this. Um, it just, it kind of, it kind of really freaked me out, especially having a younger child. All right. So let's move on to the one that my daughter is super excited about. Um, it is the raw chicken, <laughs> the raw chicken demo, guys, okay? So, all right. So I have these protein testers here. Okay, they're from the health department. Um, this is how they test to see if there's protein left on certain areas, um, especially in like restaurants as well. I used to be a restaurant manager um, in Ann Arbor um, a few years ago, so I was always Surf State certified, um, all that lovely stuff. So I definitely trust these guys. Um, up top, I don't know if you can see, let me come a little bit closer. So up top here, my light might be too bright. Green means good, okay? And X, X, and dark purple means bad. Dark purple means don't lick the plate. Okay, guys? Okay. So, I'm going to take these and set them over to the side. And I'm going to take my Enviro cloth. I'm going to get it wet right there. But I have the dreaded raw chicken that's dripping all, <laughs> all over That's making me regret I want it. <laughs> the plate. All right, so we're just going to go ahead. We're going to rub it on the plate, okay? There we go. You can see the streaks. Maybe you can. There's like chunks of chicken on there too, guys. <laughs> That's gross. I'm regretting. All right, so let me go ahead, and I'm going to get this out of the way. So this is going to demonstrate the power of the Enviro cloth, guys, okay? And the Enviro cloth has the silver in there for the back lock. Um, that's going to help keep it um, nice and safe for you guys. It's going to help keep the germs and the bacteria at bay. Um, and it's also... Oh, can I get this? Hold on, guys. There you go. And it's going to help it with its self-cleaning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to swab the deck. Swab the deck. Okay. This is like gonna be so insane. Just swab, swab, swab. Swab, swab. So I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, it's already turning. I'm gonna crack that up there. Oh, come on. There it goes. All right. Crack it again, get some more in there. Come on. It looks like it's turning green. Yeah, it definitely shouldn't. There we go. Let's get some more. Well, maybe I need to coat it a little bit more. Let's give that a second here. It should be turning green? No, it needs to turn purple. Oh, there it goes. It's getting there. There we go. Let's go ahead and just get it a little bit more on there just to be safe so that we do know that it is chicken. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this out again. Let's get a good swab to see if it actually is going to pick it up. There it goes. I just needed to rub it nice and, nice and good. Turn nice and purple. There we go. Is it turning purple? Yeah, it's turning purple on the swab here. Yes. Oh, see? Yeah. So we can show them up here too. You can see that it did. Oh. Let's see. Let's see if we can get it to see here. The purple. There's the purple there. I just needed to kind of douse it a little bit more with that juice. All right. There it goes. Yep, there it goes. Perfect. I'm glad. Okay, it's turning yeah. color. I'm glad I did have There we go. Okay, we're almost there. 
I'm glad I didn't have to do that. So I'm going to bring it up a little bit closer so you guys can see now that it's turning, turning color. There we go. You can see that? Okay, that means that there is definitely protein, chicken protein, gross. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, get my viral cloth here, bring it out. <laughs> you can even see the purple on the plate from where I had redone the tester here. So, okay. It's nice and folded like normal, okay? I'm gonna make sure that I leave this side down so you guys can see, to make sure I didn't flip anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to wipe the plate clean here. There we go. It's hard when your hands are slippery, I don't wanna drop the plate. <laughs> you laugh, you silly goose. You laugh. All right, so the plate, there you go, perfect, okay, all right, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to set this one over here, yep, that definitely, that's purple now, you can totally see it's purple, all right, so now, here's a new one, okay, that was the Enviro class. I'm going to go ahead and I'm scrape, scrape, scrape. You can hear it hitting, hitting the plate. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, plug that in. I'm going to snap that. There we go. Nice, nice and green. Try to get it a little bit more in there too. There you go. Let me show you guys. You can see the difference. Purple means bad, green means go. Go means lick the plate, okay? So just to prove how much faith I have in Norwax and Viral Cloth, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lick the dang plate, okay? Do you wanna do it? Yeah. All right, you want me to do it first? No, even my stomach's upside down. Okay, I'm gonna do it first, okay? No, I'll do it. You're gonna do it? I guess my own child is volunteering. I don't know, is that a good thing? I trust it, she trusts it. Oh, she licked the plate. I guess I have to I didn't even taste anything, it's fine. Lick the plate, guys. That's my eight year old child. She has total faith in Norwex products and so do I. I am super excited. Um, I really love to have these testers. It proves a point. Um, and just to actually go ahead and show to you guys that if I did, again, rub it, let's see here, in the chicken, that it would turn purple. There we go. I just got to get a good rub on that. There we go. I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to set the chicken down. We're gonna shake. There you go. Perfect. See? And the longer it sits, the darker it goes. See how that's turning already again? Whoop! Whoopsies! There you go. You see how it's turning? So that's proof, guys. I can't wait till my whole order of these swabs. Coming. I'm gonna just be licking plates in front of people just to just to mess with them a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that one on the side. So now that we both licked the plate, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm pretty cool that my daughter was super stoked to do that with me. Like I said, she's all in Norwex, guys. She's gonna be doing a review of the kids' products um, because she just loves it. Okay, so. I'm a very active person. I do um, spinning, I go running, I work out. So uh, one big thing that I just absolutely love is the body and face cloth. Um, I work at a gym. Um, this is something that, yeah, right now not many people are going to the gyms, but this is something that should probably be in your everyday bag. It should be in your gym bag. If you go camping, it should be in your camping bag. 
Why? Because you only need water, okay? So I'm gonna wring this out here. And this again, I'm gonna find this here. And this is the body and face towel, okay? By Norwax and it does have the back lock in there as well. And I'm just gonna go ahead um, I'm gonna wipe off. I did an hour spinning session a little bit ago. Um, I didn't shower all day just so I could show you guys how awesome this stuff works, okay? It's, sorry about that, but I love this. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wipe off nice and easy. Everybody knows that when you get a good sweat in, your body starts to get rid of salts. Um, and especially in this heat, even more so, you just make sure you're staying hydrated, getting your electrolytes, guys, because your body loses a lot of stuff every day. And this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful cloth is going to prove to you guys why you need to add it to your bag. You don't have time to shower. You know, you, you need to freshen up. You were outside walking on your lunch break. This is perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flip it again. We're gonna go one more time over. There we go, I'm feeling refreshed already. I know so many people are camping and going to be camping soon. You definitely wanna have this handy, okay? So my water is nice and fresh. I'm gonna go ahead, stick this in here, wring it out. Everybody's gonna see just how nasty my skin was. <laughs> Sorry guys, again, I just, I love this stuff because the proof is totally in the pudding, okay? This is why I love Norwex so much. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my dirty bowl of water over so you guys can see just how icky my water was. And that was in, that was just from one one wipe and wiping off and one rinsing and rinsing it out the towel. Okay? So this is definitely another reason why you need this. Um, you you're done with it, just let it hang up and dry. Um, no odors will be left on there because it has the backlock in there. Uh, no bacteria. It smells great. You need it, you should get some. I think they, they, they yeah, these do come in the three pack. Um, so if you have a little bit bigger of a family, um, we have three in our family right now. Um, so we each all get one of these and uh, my husband works at the prison. So um, I usually send a towel with him because he's been working a lot lately and it's been really hot in there. So um, it's been really nice for him to kind of like have on his 30 minute break and just kind of rinse off and refresh. All right. Next thing, I'm gonna get this out of the way. All right, move this here. I'm just gonna talk about the dishwashing liquid really quick. Um, I cannot believe how long the Norwex dishwashing liquid has lasted me. I've had this for about a month. Um, this $9.99, it is awesome. Um, let me read it the back here for you. It's ultra concentrated, biodegradable. Um, Clementine essential oil is its only fragrance, no dyes, no synthet synthetic fragrances, um, phosphates, and it's safe for your septic system, it's not been tested on animals, and there are no animal derived ingredients. Um, like I said, this is 999, and we were always using like the palm olive or the Dawn dish soap. The one thing that I really loved about the Norwax was that when I switched over, I didn't taste palm olive or dawn dish soap on my dang eggs in the morning, okay? How many times have you done the dishes and next thing you know, the next day you're cooking in it or you're drinking out of it and you can still taste the flavor of dish soap. I rinsed my dishes pretty well, I would like to say. Um, but yeah, so that is one, one of my huge selling points of the dishwashing liquid. And then the other thing I was gonna mention, like in the back, I can't even, read what's in it because it's all dark because of the soap, okay? I had a different one that I was using. My light started, I think my husband dumped it because he knew I'm kind of going 
all the Norwex. I'm like, don't get rid of all my product. I need this stuff to prove a point. But this is one of the things that got me too, guys. So if I kind of tip it back, it says, do not mix with chlorine bleach to avoid, avoid irritating fumes. Obviously, we're not sitting there mixing dishwashing liquid with bleach all the time, but there is nowhere that I could ever find that it said if it hits bleach, be cautious of the fumes. Something to definitely check out. This guy is amazing. Uh, super concentrated, like I said. Um, I've been selling it like hotcakes. Great for you, great for your dishes, great for the family, great for the environment. Get rid of this stuff, replace it with this stuff, okay? All right, so I do have just two more things to demonstrate. And I have a lovely pack of strawberries. We all love our fruits and vegetables. There's a lot in season right now. Um, so I have right here the fresh produce wash, okay? Um, I was blown away by this stuff. So what, what you do is, if it's the normal size, it gives you the type of directions on the back that you need to know. For this size, it does say that I should use um, a half of an ounce uh, to about like 16 ounces or so, or 15 um, of ounces of water, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna use a half of a calf full here, okay? Or maybe a little bit more just because, there you go, okay. So I'm gonna take that and it also comes with a sprayer if you don't wanna soak your produce or fruit in it. Um, if you have the sprayer top, you just sit there and you can just spray it nice and easy and then you can polish it up with the um, veggie scrub cloth that we have, okay? So I'm gonna use this. These are my little uh, surf safe, <laughs> surf safe, I wouldn't say certified tongs, but you know, don't touch food with hands, don't spread it all, Just this is just me being um, an old manager at restaurant junkie. So you don't wanna just pour that right into there when you're mixing it with the water. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mix it up just to make sure it disperses enough, okay? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna take some of these guys, I'm gonna let them soak in there. Get a bunch of them. These will be ready for dinner for us in a little bit, so that'll be great for a nice snack. There we go. And as long as your produce is covered and being able to soak fully in the water, it will be good, okay? Just kind of move it around. It does say on the back though, if you are using um, this to clean uh, cauliflower or broccoli, it does say kind of swish it all around. Um, and then it says kind of rinse it off with kind of like maybe use like your water sprayer um, just to kind of help get that off. So I'm gonna let that soak. There we go. And it does tell how long you should let it soak but I'm gonna let that soak for just a little bit. So I wanna show you one last demonstration. So that's gonna soak there. So I wanna show you guys and talk about the mop, okay? So this is the Norwex mop, but right now I have the broom head on. Um, you can adjust the size. Right now it's adjusted to my daughter's size because she loves to do all the cleaning with this mop. Um, it does have a handle um, for like ledges. So if you're, say you're cleaning and you're in the kitchen and your kitchen has a nice little ledge, you can, and you can go ahead and set it up there. So just kind of be like, oh, I don't wanna leave it on the ground right now. Um, I need to go do this and then I'm gonna come back and pick off where I left up. Um, and then the green ball on the top helps out if you do have any scuffs on the floor. So you can just, you can flip that right over, turn it right around, and then just use it on the floor to help get that off. Um, the head, the base, it does move nicely, okay? And then there's a little bit of a lock. There you go, perfect. So this right here is the broom, okay? And I also have the mop head, but I wanna demonstrate the broom and how the broom actually works. So you guys are just gonna have to give me a second here. I just made sure that I didn't clean the floor, so I wanted to show you guys how it worked. But I'm gonna take the ground cinnamon 
and I'm gonna put some ground cement on the floor so you can see how that works. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dump this on the ground right here so that, oh, there you go. I'm gonna dump it on the ground just nice enough so you guys can see and I'm gonna bring it over, okay? All right, so my daughter is gonna do it. So I'm gonna take the phone over here though, guys, so. Give me two seconds. Hold on, I have to show them where the floor is. Make sure that they can see it here. Let's see, I hope. Um, let me see my finger here. Can you guys see? Ah, where's my finger? There it is. Okay, you see that? All right, so I did kind of load it on there pretty well, but I'm just gonna have Madison go ahead and brush that off. And you can see, perfect. Okay, and then bring it back. All right. Okay, whoop, <laughs> sorry about her shorts and her butt shot. All right, perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna lift, whoop, lift it up. You see that? You see how awesome that worked? You can see all the dog hair and everything on our floor too. I'm gonna have Maddie hold up, okay? I'm gonna flip my camera here so you guys can see. There we go. There we go. That's the spot where I left it there. So there we go. Yep, there's a spot right there. So she's gonna go ahead and she's gonna rub it again. So go ahead and put it down. There you go, nice and easy. There you go. Sweep it up, good. Perfect. There we go. And then I would go ahead Good job, Madison. I'm going to switch it back. There we go. And then I would go ahead and I would use the mop head. And I'm going to go ahead and have Maddie go ahead and grab that for mom. Can you go grab the mop head, Maddie, please? Oh, there it is. Do you want me to get water on it? Nope. I just want to show them really quick. So, and then this is the mop head. Okay. So, all we would do is to clean up the rest of that residual that's left on the floor. We would just go ahead and get that wet. Actually, well, then I would have to bring you guys back to the floor, but you just go ahead and get that wet and then it'll clean it right up nice and easy for you. The one thing that I do love um, about the large mop, because this is the one that I have is the, um, the larger mop set, is that, oh, uh, I'm not done yet. Oh, you're not? No. Is that there are a lot more heads that you can use with the large mop set than the small, but if you do purchase a small um, mop set, you can get a larger base. So you can get one and then interchange it, and then that's when you can get all the different mop heads and brooms, okay guys? All right, so last here. Yes. Why did those both turn purple? Oh, because that meant that there's bad proteins on there. Then why was it first green? Because and then we liked it. Yeah, well it was green, <laughs> it was green, but then after we were done, I showed them that when I put it on the chicken, it would turn purple. So don't worry, you didn't lick any bad proteins. Because I heard. You're so fine. Yeah, I know you're good. Okay. That's really fine. All right. Well, that's good. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get these off of here. And I'm going to have Madison take these into the kitchen. And she's going to rinse them right off because that's the next step after you let these guys soak. You can put it in cold. Okay. All right. Should I put them in a bigger bowl? Um, if you can find a bigger bowl, you can. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, go take those and rinse those off for mom. <sighs> and I am gonna bring the water over again. Excuse me, puppy dog. And I'm gonna see if you guys can see all of the little floaties in there. You see all that dirt and all the grimy, all the seeds? all the junk that is on our produce right now and vegetables. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, you can't go wrong if you buy it. Madison knows that if she wants any of the fruit and vegetables, she goes and cleans them right away. Um, she knows exactly how to do it. Again, she's eight guys, like I said, um, but this is what she loves and this is what I love and I hope that you guys uh, love Norwax as well. Um, so free samples, I have samples of the um, body and face cloth, okay? I have samples of the UPP 
laundry detergent and I have samples of the dish liquid detergent right now. Um, I'm going to have a few other samples coming um, pretty soon here when I get my next shipment in. Um, so if that's something you guys are interested, comment below and let me know. Um, I also want to know if you guys have any questions and um, tell me what your favorite part of this demo was and the lovely giveaway, wait for this guys, is going to be a $25 shopping spree, okay? So that's gonna, you can add that on to your order if you were thinking about ordering. Um, if you're using one of the discounts, you can go ahead and say if you go at 15% off the mop or whatever, I'm gonna be putting $25 in um, for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead, look at the comments below. I'm gonna give it a couple hours just so that people can kind of go over and look to see um, what went on in the live demo, probably. Let's do 10 o'clock, guys. So by 10 o'clock, make sure you have your comments down there. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put everybody's name um, who commented in the in like a bowl hat. And I'll have Madison pick out the winner of the $25 shopping credit. Um, that can be applied to now. Or if you want to use it in the future, you can use it in the future. Just you can let me know. I'm the uh, consultant as well. So I can just get that for you guys whenever you need it. Um, just make sure that you contact me for this because then that way I can make sure you guys get your discount or your $25 shopping credit. Um, and then I'm also looking for a few more people to host some parties, some online parties. Um, I'm going to be doing different demos as many times as I can. Um, I'd have some others that I have done um, many times throughout Angie's party and then my own parties. Um, so I have those saved so I can go ahead and show you guys a little bit more about the cleaning paste. Um, can you not do that while we're on live? Go second on that strawberry. Um, so yeah, so if you're interested in hosting, I'm giving you a $20, um, $20 credit shopping spree as well. Um, and I hope that you guys thoroughly enjoyed the demos. Um, like I said, I love talking Norwex. I love um, everything about it and I am hoping that if you guys have any questions you can come to me um, you can always comment below you can text you can message me if you want you can always text me um, I always put my number out there for people so my number is 906-458-8816 I'm up late I'm up early and if I don't answer I'm either um, sleeping or working or working out so uh, but I'll get back to you guys very quickly so Again, thank you so much for, for joining us this evening, and um, I hope that you really enjoyed everything, and um, yay, she licked the plate, so did I. Bye, guys. See you soon. Oh, and don't forget, tomorrow's my birthday, so I'm going to be doing a special tomorrow, too. A good my, one. Okay? My birthday was July 4th. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for joining.